Potty accidents can be one of the most frustrating things about having a dog. The good news is, with a good plan and some tips, potty training doesn't have to be as difficult as you may think. In this video, we'll show you how to potty train your dog, share the tips you need to set your expectations for your new puppy, and enjoy your pooch for years to come. We'll also show you how to make a dog poop more quickly on walks and how to train a dog to eliminate on command. Potty training a dog should begin with developing a schedule that both you and your furry friend can follow. Feeding your pet at the same times each day will make it more likely that they'll eliminate at consistent times. This makes house training easier for both of you. And keep in mind that healthy dogs usually defecate after eating their meals. This is because a dog's stomach is wired to their colon through nerves. As soon as the animal's stomach is full, the colon is notified. That means dogs usually poop within 15 minutes after eating. So developing a consistent schedule of eating and potty breaks can avoid confusion and accidents in your home. And while planning your feeding strategy, keep in mind that kibble or dry food tends to take between 10 and 12 hours to pass through a dog's digestive system. Most vets agree that the best time to feed your dog is early in the morning when you both get up, and again between 8 and 12 hours later. Another important thing when it comes to potty training is a dog's water intake. It's best to remove your puppy's water bowl at night. As a rule of thumb, remove the water and food bowls about 2-3 to three hours before bedtime. So, if your lights out time is 10 p.m., a dog should have no food or water after about 7 p.m. This gives you a chance to take them out for one last potty break before settling in for the night. But remember not to take this advice too far by restricting your puppy's water during the day. A puppy is more prone to dehydration than an adult dog because of their greater need for water. And to set up a dog for success, make sure not to switch out your dog's food abruptly. Sudden changes of diet can cause your dog to develop diarrhea. A dog who has a loose stool can hardly hold it. Anytime you decide to change your dog's food, you should transition to the new diet gradually in order to give your dog's system time to adjust to the change. Okay, so now that we got the basics down, it's time to talk about how to house train a dog. The most effective method of potty training a dog is using a crate. You may cringe at the idea of confining your puppy in a crate, but dogs are den animals and will seek out a little canine cave for security whether you provide one or not. A crate, when properly introduced as a happy and rewarding place, provides your pet a secure haven of their very own. And even better, they can be used for travel, safety, and a hideout when it storms. The principle behind using a crate for house training is that dogs are very clean animals. They don't like a urine-soaked rug in their living spaces any more than you do. So if at all possible, your dog will not have an accident in their crate. When you let them out of their crate to go outside, they will naturally use that opportunity to relieve themselves. If they feel an urge, the dog will let you know by scratching or whining. That's their signal that they have to go potty. Now, do not delay. If you let your pup lose control in their crate, they'll think that it's okay to mess up their living space. Then, they'll leave little packages around where you live too. Constant supervision is an important part of successful potty training a puppy. Learning the clues or signals that indicate that your dog needs to poop will prevent unnecessary accidents in the house. Most dogs will sniff, make circles, whine, wander off, or sit by the door to indicate they need to go do their business. If you see any of these signs, don't ignore them. And it's important to remember that the crate should be the right size, just large enough for the dog to stand up, lie down, and turn around. If it's too large, the dog will feel that it's okay to use one corner for elimination and then happily settle down away from the mess. So now that we've talked about potty training your dog, let's see why dogs take so long to poop on walks and how you can speed up the process. When dogs eliminate, they're not just doing it to relieve themselves. They're also doing it to leave certain information on the ground. They are leaving scent marks around the edges of their territory to send a signal for other animals to keep out. It's an instinctual behavior that's also found in wolves. When your dog takes forever to defecate, they are trying to find the right spot to mark their territory. Stress or anxiety is another reason your dog may take so long to poop. An important thing to remember when you're trying to make your dog poop faster is not to lose your temper. Your dog can sense when you are angry or frustrated, and it adds to their stress and anxiety. 
This holds them back from doing their business. Even worse, it can result in future pooping issues, as your canine will associate potty walks with stress. And keep in mind that dogs have surface preferences. Some pups prefer pooping on grass rather than dirt or glossy surfaces. If your dog is slow to get down to business, try taking them for exercise or a longer walk. Exercise makes food move faster through the large intestine. You can even give them a soft clockwise belly rub. This will stimulate their digestive tract and get things flowing in there. And be sure to take your dog to a regular, quiet bathroom area that doesn't have too many distractions. With a familiar bathroom environment and fewer distractions, your dog won't take as long to choose the perfect spot. Wait, I have one more important lesson for you. Teaching your dog to go potty on command. Waiting for your dog to do their business while you're standing in the middle of a rain or snowstorm is one of the most frustrating aspects of dog ownership. Believe it or not, you can actually teach your dog to eliminate on command, and it's much easier than you may think. Take your dog on a walk at a time when they will likely have to potty, like after eating or when they haven't been out for a while. The moment your dog squats and starts to go, say whatever you decide your command will be. You've caught your dog right as they're starting to relieve themselves and you are simply labeling the behavior. Praise them and give them a treat. Repeat this pattern and command for a number of days so your dog will begin to make the connection between the command and the action of going to the bathroom. After a few days, the dog will hold on to his toilet in order to spend it on command in return for a treat. And make sure to teach them two separate cues for go pee and go poo as they are two different actions. Keep in mind that even if you have taught your pup a potty clue, dogs have physical needs. Just because you want them to eliminate doesn't mean they instantly can. Dogs often need a short walk before their bodies are ready to evacuate. Go potty is not an instantaneous command, it's a request. Lastly, remember that mistakes happen. A few accidents in the house is a normal part of house training. In case of a potty accident, clean the soiled area thoroughly. Try to use products designed to eliminate pet odors. Your dog has a very powerful nose and is highly motivated to continue soiling in areas that smell like urine or feces. And if you ever catch your pup pottying in the house, interrupt them without being too harsh and take them to their bathroom spot to finish. If your dog only has accidents when you're not home, it's very possible that they may be suffering from separation anxiety. Likewise, stress can trigger a potty accident. The death of a family member, thunderstorms, fireworks, being alone for too long, loud parties, or a new home can be very stressful for a dog.